Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi hello I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on so you never miss an upload and comment below a video you'd like to see. Today's video we're doing a pros and cons of living in supported living. few notes on my phone while I was in the For anyone who doesn't know, hi, I'm Lydia. I live in supported living, also known as a care home for mental health patients, and I have done for the last two years. It's a good step down from hospital. It's like you're not thrown back into society and just left to it and burned for yourself. You have freedoms, which I'll get on to in a bit. You are in a less restrictive environment and you're allowed like things like chargers, cameras, in my case. You're just allowed that stuff. Technically, yes, I did. It. I had two camera, three cameras, while I was in the priory. But that's because I did YouTube, and they wanted me to do something other than lie in bed. I never took my cameras out the room, so I was allowed to keep them on me. But your freedom to film, which is important for me, and all in all, you, you just you have your life back while still being supported. Con. You're not living with people your own age. The only person living here that was my age, a year older than me, not a big difference, got kicked out. <laughs> so now I live with a bunch of old people, literal old people, and I don't relate to them at all. And they don't relate to me at all. I'm very isolated living here. Pro. It gives you independence while also support where you need it. So I get support in my room once a week, and that's to help me clean it, because I do have a lot of stuff. I like having stuff around me. It makes me feel homely. Beep. When I first moved in here, I was still I was still very over medicated. So the staff here would help me have a shower because I couldn't stand up to do it. So I had to sit on my knees. I can't go on my knees anymore because my left my right knee is kind of fucked, to put it lightly. But they used to support me in the shower. I don't need the support anymore now. I just have a bath because it, it's the only way I can clean. Not the best I know, but. What are you gonna do about it? Con. You have to stick to their medication routine. So I, when I was in hospital, I used to take my night meds at 10 o'clock. Here I take my eight o'clock, which knocks me out by nine. I, I don't, and I wake up nine the next day. I literally sleep for 12 hours, but it is a bit annoying because all the medication times I had in hospital, they're all different here, which isn't the best. Pro. Medication is managed by staff. Now, the reason I put this in the pro is because it does reduce the risk of an overdose, given I smuggled medication into my room and overdose. On the whole, medication is managed by staff. Con. The food they cook is not liked by all the residents. Now, this is a big issue for me, because everyone here eats meat, and I don't. The only meat I eat is chicken nuggets, battered fish, and chicken and and sausages i don't eat like pork chops or lamb so when they cook that with their favorite thing rice <coughs> which i also hate it costs me an absolute fortune because i have to go out and get food that i'll eat that doesn't need an oven because yes i do have an oven in my room but it's not connected so i can't use it i have thought about buying a microwave but then the question is where will i it because my kitchen ain't that big and my table's full of record players, scrapbooks, cards against humanity, crystals, eye math. So it definitely is a big issue. So I'm curious if you live in supported living, what are some of the pros and cons where you live? And if you have any questions about me in supported living or just what supported living is like, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you have any questions, video requests, absolutely anything at all, the comment section is there for you. Don't forget to leave a like and, like I said at the beginning, subscribe if you're new enjoy the growing family. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.